Hey coaches, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm gonna to be talking about a different topic. This is all geared around not backing down from your word as a business owner. Now I'm gonna to try to give you this example. So a couple days ago, I was on social media and I noticed that a coach that I follow, what he was doing is he was like launching a clinic for his, uh, for his training business. And when I was looking through his posts, it was like, he was like really trying to promote this thing hard on Instagram. Um, I didn't, I didn't know what, if he was doing anything on Facebook, if we had an emails going or if he was sending out texts, I, I don't know his whole strategy, but I could see it on Instagram and I saw it said like a uh, deadline to register. Um, I believe it was like April, I think like 15th or something like that. And then, like, after that, he was still giving everybody the same discounts that he was giving before. Because, like, he was posting about it. He was like, well, we, now we've extended our deadline to this date. And here's the thing. In the internet marketing space, it doesn't matter what industry it is. It's very common that people do this. They, like... They try to say that there's this like deadline and, it, and then it becomes a fake deadline and then they move the deadline back further and further and further. And then what happens, in my opinion, is the people who join after you move the deadline back further, those are the worst types of customers because they didn't take action when you asked them to. Uh, they procrastinated and they didn't follow through on your word that means they weren't listening right and the, here's why i don't like that it's because like a lot of coaches would you know when they think about money they're like oh you know if i do that i'll make an extra like 300 dollars on this clinic you know that's cool but i think what's cooler is having people there that are committed and they listen to your marketing message and they follow the instructions and then those people are more serious so you sell back your program to them because they did follow through and those people are more likely to listen to you in the future because they followed through the first time and then the people who signed up uh later those those are going to be the people who are going to ask for refunds they're going to uh, not show up they're going to ask for a you know a credit towards your program those are the people you don't want and I think a lot of coaches, though, they, they don't think about business that way. They're thinking, well, how can I get as many numbers as possible to this clinic? And how can I move back this deadline? But the problem is, this is the real problem, is if you do that in one area of your business, you're going to do that in all areas. For example, if you give a parent a deadline, um, you know, a seven-day deadline to join your program at a discount, and they join on day eight and they still get that discount, that's not fair to the people who did join within the first seven days on a discount. That's not fair at all. And you're going against your word when you do things like that. And then think about it. Now Now that they know that your word isn't good, uh, that you think they're going to listen to you in the future? No, they're gonna do whatever they want because they already got away with one thing at the very beginning of the relationship, all right? So it's these little details about not going against your word. Like when you say something, you follow through with it, and that is the standard. And if you're afraid to do that, you need to start making those changes now because once you start doing that, all of your clients, all the prospects, they start to get educated that like, oh, he's not messing around. Like when he has this deadline, he, he's gonna turn off the registration. Or when he has this deadline, it's like, we need to sign up before then, right? And that actually helps you have a way more successful business down the road when you operate that way because then you never have to negotiate with anyone, right? And that's a big problem I see a lot of coaches have is they're always negotiating with parents. They're negotiating with price. They're negotiating when to, when they can sign up. No, it's, it's a business. And you should operate it like one. And what you say should go. That, that should be the firm thing. So, you know, when you think about extending deadlines and, and moving things around for certain people, I, I will tell you that is the that is the quickest way to get annoyed in this business if you're a business owner, because you're always having to go back and forth with people and it takes longer for them to sign up and they're just not as committed as those who follow the directions. So that's 
all I got for you today. I hope that makes sense. And you know, if you say something, stick with it. Don't back down from it because it is your business. It's not your client's business.